Hey guys, what's up? As you can see from the title of this video, this is something that I never do. Mainly because there's already so many other YouTubers that do these kinds of videos already. But I wanted to make my own version that applies to literally every single case, so you have all servants in one video. Ain't that great? Now, before I begin, I want to make it clear that this video is not an attack on anyone or their opinions. This is just my two cents. I love everyone from the English FGO YouTuber community and I would never want to upset anyone. Okay, with that out of the way, every time there is a new servant approaching, these um, should you pull videos appear. They are all fine and everything, nothing wrong with them per se, but the problem is that they try to answer that question from the wrong perspective, which is answering what the servant's gameplay value is. And that is the reason I wanted to make this video. I get asked these questions in every stream I do, and because I always give them the same answer, I figured I might as well make a video out of it. So. Should you pull for literally any servant ever and you only need one super simple question to ask yourself and that is, drumroll, do you like the servant? That's it. That is literally all the reason you would ever need to roll for someone. Let me elaborate a bit. FGO as a game is so easy, you don't need the so-called best servants at all. In fact, you can even beat everything with 1-3 to three star servants alone. Yes, even the challenge quests. If you're interested about that, you can look up Honako Green on YouTube. He specializes in st that stuff, but I assume most of you guys, if not all of you, already know who he is, but yeah, I digress. The only thing that matters in this game, and pretty much applies to any other game, is having fun. If your definition of fun is using double Merlin and Jolter in every quest, then by all means, do that. But personally, I'm having the most fun when I own and can use my favorite servants. Emphasis on favorite not strongest once again. Like when I pulled for Mysterious Heroin X Alter and Arthur, people kept asking in my streams why the hell would I waste quartz on those so called bottom tier units? Again, because I like the servants. I would never need Arthur, I have all the sabers I could ever need. But because I think his MP is one of the most coolest and badass looking MPs in the game, you can be damn sure I wanted him a lot. And as for MHX Alter, <laughs> there is just one thing alone that made me roll for her. Spats. Okay, don't judge me, okay? <laughs> now that we are on this topic, I should also point out that all of this applies for Grayling too. I think Grayling for gameplay is dumb, because the stats are not significant at all in the long run, especially for SSRs. You should only grail for servants you love. Hell, I grailed Assassin Lee to 100 in JP. He's at the bottom side of the tier list, but I have zero regrets, baby. He's fucking awesome. But I don't want to make this uh, too big of a rant, okay? So I will leave it all at that. Food for thought, as they say. And, of course, I will state it again that this is just my opinion on things and if you wanna roll and grail for gameplay purposes, you can absolutely do that. No one is going to stop you, okay? But yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. As always, make sure to subscribe to not miss out on any of my future weekly uploads and streams. Also, follow my Twitter, at MistFGO. And finally, a shout out to my few wonderful patrons, David Losenko, Babib, and Ashbala Winter. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys later this week, okay? Peace out.